Hey guys, it's Molly with Design Loves Detail and I am going to take you on a little tour today of one of my favorite parade of homes houses that I walked through, so stay tuned for more. While you guys are here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when our next video is live. And let me know what you guys think about this tour thing. If you wanna see more home tours, you can like it um, and leave a comment too. We love to hear from you guys. The Parade of Homes, this is the Utah Valley Parade of Homes. Utah County is just south of Salt Lake City. So it's kind of, it's growing a ton. This house was by RC Dent Construction. And then the designer was Curtis Design Group. They did the architecture and interior was done by Remedy Design. So really good team there. I knew walking up to it that it was gonna be one I loved because it has that European flair from the outside as well as on the inside, which is kind of what I like to bring into my own home designs as well. So love seeing that. And then I'll warn you, this might be in little snippets, like small clips, but I'm gonna kind of walk you through the different things that I loved about this home. Because there's so many people, these events are so well attended, it's really hard to get footage without like someone walking in front of you. So I did my best. We will get sometimes a little bit of a short clip, but you'll get the gist. So first of all, coming into this home is a gorgeous living room. This has so much character. I loved the beam work and then just that stone wall reminded me of my stone wall in my kitchen. Just so much um, interest and, and it has that old world character that I adore. This also had beautiful dormer windows. We're doing some dormer windows in our family room, in our home that we are um, designing. Well, it's already designed. It's gonna be hopefully going to the build process soon. We've just been slow, but anyways, the point is, I love seeing those dormer windows because we have some similar ones in our family room and so it was exciting to see that. They did such a beautiful job with the decor in here as well. Really classic, but European and just really good details throughout. A really cool layout too, because you kind of just come right into this living space. So it's kind of just inviting and it doesn't feel, you know, too formal or overwhelming or anything like that. This house is 5,200 uh, square feet about, and it had five bedrooms, four and a half baths. So, or sorry, three and a half baths, four baths roughly, but one of them was a half bath. It had such a beautiful kitchen too. They had used a Faro and Ball color on the cabinetry, um, which is really similar to the one that I used, um, Shaded White by Faro and Ball. Both of those are really beautiful tones. They're kind of more of like a grayish. You have a neutral feel without it being, um, you know, it's different than a white kitchen, which I, I love. Another really cool thing was how the pantry was set up just kind of behind the kitchen and it had beautiful natural light. I love the detail in there. Uh, it gave you a lot of space for displaying and also storage and then prep as well. So it was really functional. Dining room space was right off across from the kitchen and it was gorgeous as well. The light fixtures above the dining table are a smaller version of the one that I have in my family room and so it's a favorite for sure by Generation Lighting. And it was fun to see how they used the two of them almost like as pendants, um, but they're little chandeliers that are more modern. And then the outdoor space of this home, which was right off of that, um, kind of between the dining room and the front family room space that was really nice as well. It wasn't like a super deep lot, so they didn't have a lot of depth, but then they were able to still fit in a fire pit area and the views were gorgeous and there was open land behind. So it felt very spacious, even though it was not a huge or a huge lot in terms of the depth. It did have a, a bunch of side yard. They had like basketball court and then a little airy sitting area and stuff too. So good use of space and really pretty out there. Going off of that kitchen area, you go down a hallway and to your left is an office and to your right is a really beautiful staircase. I thought this was cool how they did the staircase because um, normally you don't have a lot of detail for staircases that are only going downstairs. This was a, a rambler home. So it had just the main level and the basement. And so going down those stairs, um, you had this feeling of grand almost like it was you know a staircase going up because they had the high ceilings and that gorgeous window beautiful light fixture and then the paneled wall so that it was just a really wow moment in the center of this home and then it takes you downstairs and it makes that downstairs area feel really open too but moving on down this hallway is the um, oh the office was really cute too it had kind of some fun bookshelves with a rolling ladder and, and cute detail there and then just past that was the mudroom area and then a half bathroom conveniently um, off the garage, um, which was just a little bit further ahead and then off the kitchen as well. So it was really good layout. I loved that. Oh, a lot of you guys are going to ask probably the price of this home. It was on the market for one point, I think it was 1.8 million is what it ended up around there selling for. So it gives you an idea. The home values in Utah have increased a ton over the last year. You could see that uh, even like when we sold our home, it was just 
a big difference from even when we built a few years ago. There's just been a big increase. And of course that was appealing. Going down the hallway, uh, there's a really cute mudroom. I loved, or yeah, mudroom to the right, um, but also laundry room, really cute arch door with glass in it. I loved that detail. I thought that that was really well placed there because you see that at the end of the hallway, um, this cute door into the, the laundry. And then it had some glass, so it kind of maintained an openness, which was awesome. Going into the uh, primary bedroom just off there uh, was really beautiful as well. This was a smaller room. I was actually like not sure if it was a guest suite or the primary bedroom, but it did fit everything you needed. So it wasn't like huge and um, wasted space type area, but it was still had some really grand, beautiful details in the ceiling, kind of that herringbone inlay detail in the ceiling with the chandelier was really cute. And then it had beautiful views of the backyard and then going into the primary bathroom. Um, this was again, not a huge space, but it was pretty good use of, of space. I would have done a stool under that little vanity area rather than the chair because I thought the chair felt a little bit too bulky for the space. But other than that, I thought this was a good use of space. And I thought that the light above the tub was really cute. And the shower looked really similar to our shower here where we did that square gray tiles and that varying, just in that subtle varying palette, which is I think kind of classic. And then they had a really nice closet as well with some built-ins, that sort of thing for good storage. We'll head downstairs. It was a great basement. It was not over the top. Some of the homes that we see in the Prada homes have like basketball courts in the basement and that kind of stuff. This had a nice little home gym, which was, I thought a great size. It wasn't like huge, but it was like a good amount of space. And that was just off of the family room area, which was really pretty and had a door that went um, where you could walk outside. It wasn't a walkout, but you could go, You well, you I guess it's technically a walkout, but you went upstairs. It just took you to the stairs to go out the backyard. The hallway had a really cute ceiling detail, loved that. And the bathrooms were darling, really fun. Um, cabinetry color, and then just well thought out. I love those sconces in the bathroom. They're actually the same ones I used in my kid's bathroom. So they're really pretty ones um, with that brushed brass and the little shade on them. They had a laundry room there as well, downstairs in the basement off the, more of like a closet type laundry room, which I think is really smart, especially when you have like multiple kids rooms downstairs. Then there was another bathroom off that hallway, which was really pretty as well. And um, had the, cabinets that were the same color as my mudroom ones, which I love, the Pharaoh and Ball lamp room gray. It's kind of got a blue undertone. So if you remember my, my past mudroom, those are the, those cabinets in this bathroom are the same color and it's such a pretty, pretty tone. They had a bunk room down at the end of the hall. They also had some great storage areas in this basement, um, just kind of on either side so that you'd have a lot of um, place to put your stuff. The bunk room had fun detail on the built-in beds and that was a good sized room. So really I felt like a good use of space throughout this home and just a really nice amount of detail. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this home. I'd love to hear the features that you love, don't love so much. Um, uh, that kind of thing. While you're here to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when our next video is live. Give us this video a like if you liked it. So we uh, know that feedback definitely helps us. Comments do as well. We would love to have you check us out on Instagram at Design Loves Detail. And then on my website, you can sign up for email list too to kind of stay in the loop with some exciting new stuff we have going on at designlovesdetail.com.